Hello, Nick here. Nothing. I bet you thought the Belka was broken. Anyway, so one of my viewers requested that I do a comparison of the Belka to another radio, a good radio. Well, they're all good radios, including this one, okay? So I figured it'd be nice to have a, what do you call it, a spectrum scope and finance signals and stuff like that. Well, it's probably... What time? Oh, it's got a clock right here. It's 6.22 p.m. Central Time in Dallas, Texas. Um, 15.034 and uh, 13.270, 10.051. They're not coming in. Um, it... Uh, Gander, it's not Gander, it's Trenton, I think. Trenton Military starts at 20 minutes past the hour. And uh, you could barely hear it on 10.051 on both radios. In fact, it sounded the same. Uh, both radios are on the Wellbrook antenna mounted outside. Although I do have to flip an alpha delta switch, which, which is behind these radios. Um, and for some reason today... Reception totally sucks on all, all across the spectrum. I can't get anything up here in the in the high range. Uh, as I got down into like uh, the elevens, I think I was starting to get something. And no one's in the nines, I think. Barely hear that. Barely hear anything. But to hear this, I'm going to have to flip the Alpha Delta. I'm going to have to stand up to do that. And i got to bump the camera. I mean, I'm just, it's totally jacked up here today. I got the Belker working on this Bose speaker up here, this one. And this 7610 ICOM is on its own internal speaker, which is coming out up here. So it's blocked by this radio. So, yeah, nothing is ideal, especially the reception for some reason. I, when I started messing around earlier today, I thought my Wellbrook was broken. But, no, I don't think so. I think it's just terrible. Thunderstorms, overcast, been like death, threatening like that. I actually got stuck in Wichita on Thursday night. I couldn't get home to Dallas. Had to rent a car and drive. Okay, they canceled the flights and stuff. Anyway, you're listening to 10 megahertz on the Belka. And it sounds the same as... Uh, as uh, the ICOM 7610. This is Reverend Freak Show. Strong signal, but there's nothing there. There's just a bunch of people mumbling in the background, literally mumbling. So, yeah, sorry, I got no content there to let you listen to. So let's go back to the ICOM. All right, I gotta go flip the dang switch again, stand by. Right. 
Move the tripod up. Let's see if we can find something to listen to. There's Reverend Freak Show with the mumbles. See, they got all these carriers, and there's nothing there. I think that's Reverend Freak Show again with the mumbles, but I don't know. This is always a good test of sensitivity. Super Week Beacon 28209. The preamp is on. Now let's see what that sounds like on the Belka. I got a Strasburg ordered for the, to use at this table, but I ordered it last weekend and I didn't even get an acknowledgement yet from the Strasburg, which is weird. There it is, not an S meter. The ICOM is an S meter, so you can't compare the two strengths. Normally, this signal's so weak, I, it doesn't even get a reading. And then this one does not have a preamp. The ICOM does, and it was engaged, the preamp. But this is a really weak beacon, and the Belka gets it great. Let's go to something else. And the way I tune the Belka is I put Put memories in like every so so far along well you can see along the uh, scale and then I tune in I hit the memory and then I can uh, um, you, you push this the flooding you're gonna want to keep it here for emergency weather news we are your emergency weather radio news radio 1080 krld because we've got continuing storm center coverage around the clock on the air you hear that online at that's Canada. life in dallas for the whole month of may tornadoes hail thunderstorms almost every night just cleaning up the north of 35w at i-30 wreck in fort worth that had the two left lanes all tied up but it Beacon sounds good. It's going to sound the same on the ICOM. I mean, there's almost no sense in comparing this to these other radios. If they're both on the same antenna and I plug the, a good external speaker to this thing, it does have its own internal speaker. But when I'm using it and it's like pointing down at the table, so it's really not a fair comparison. Plus, it's so dang small. But to show you how powerful of a tool this is, 
plug that in, plug the Wellbrook in, and this will keep up with any of these radios, any of them, okay? I mean, that, it, this might have a slight edge because it's just, just a super sensitive, incredible, finely tuned beast, but kind of so is the Belka. All right, let's see if I can find something else. It's just, I wanted to do this video for the last couple days, and today I got motivated to do it. And literally, the reception across the whole spectrum literally sucks. We'll try this one on the uh, icon. You're listening to the icon. It's about the same as the dang Belka. I can't find any uh, weak HF stuff to kind of show sensitivity. I mean, it's showing S8, but it sure doesn't sound good. Tranny Velka again. Just to show you what this sounds like, all right, I unhooked the Wellbrook. This is the antenna that came with the Belka. Nothing. Nothing. So, so I guess that's as long as this video is going to be because there's really nothing to bring in. Uh, I, I, I was able to find that 28 megahertz beacon and they both, I mean, everything we've brought in, it's literally been 
just about the same on both radios. So, I mean, it's no surprise. I've told people before, I've done a couple of really short little inserts of this. I didn't do a dedicated video on this, but um, it's a great radio. The Belka is a great, great radio. And uh, just an FYI, if you get one and you want to plug it into an external speaker, you the the instructions the instructions say you have to use a stereo cable. You see, it's got the two black bands on it. Let me try to focus. Come on, baby, focus. Yeah, you see the two black bands in here? One, two. That means stereo. If it only has one black, one band, that's a menorah. I marked mine everywhere. Stereo only, stereo only, because it literally in the instructions that you can that don't come with the radio, you have to print them online off of his website. It says if you plug a Monoro cable in there, you will ruin the radio. You will ruin the whole radio. So that's why I wrote in silver sharpie everywhere, stereo only, stereo only. All right. And then, obviously, mine does have its own internal speaker. And it works good. It works very well. Um, and if you're outside with this or condi conditions are decent, I mean, this this whip is a great whip. And all in all, I, I, it's an awesome radio. If you're even thinking about buying this, stop thinking about it. Just buy it. This is a great, great radio. I got the Belka that goes from point one. Point 0.1 all the way to 31 megahertz. He's got some other ones that uh, start above the medium wave band. They call they have different names: Belka DX, Belka DSP, stuff like that. Uh, just get this one. Pay the extra money, get the internal speaker, and uh, you'll be happy. I always turn my backlight off and I never let it come on. And this battery stays; it lasts literally forever, months and months. And uh, yeah, yeah, I can't say anything bad about this thing. Uh, anyway, I know we didn't find a lot of signals to listen to, but there ain't nothing out there today to listen to. Sorry. So uh, for my one viewer who did at request this, I hope this was helpful. I have a feeling you might already probably own the Belka and you just wanted to see it compared to a, you know, a premium radio. Well, here you go. I, I tried to. Uh, but, uh, I'm telling you, you can pair it to anyone you want and it'll hold its own. It's a dang good radio. All right. Thanks for hanging out.